And that was pianist Danny Green with Baião para você, which is uh, Portuguese for Baião, which is a type of Portuguese uh, musical form for you. Uh, besides Danny at the piano, we heard Justin Grinnell, his current bassist, and uh, Dylan Savage on drums, and the album is titled With You in Mind. Before that, it was vocalist Norma Winstone from the album Well Kept Secret. The tune we heard was A Timeless Place, also known instrumentally as The Peacocks, by Jimmy Rolls, who was the pianist on this album, George Mraz on bass, and Joe LaBarbera on drums. And we are back with Jim and Steve. We have sort of a rotating uh, crew here in the studio today. We, we do. We all want we all want airtime with you, Carrie. It's the thirtieth it's the thirtieth anniversary. Who doesn't want to be a part of an anniversary show? My gosh, they're all always so much fun. Such celebration. Get to recognize and, and show our appreciation for the thirty years of volunteer service that you've provided here. And um, as, as well as uh, get to hear from some of your other friends and people that you have have met through the years. But but why did you pick the songs in the last set, Carrie? Well, I picked the Danny Green tune because, um, obviously, I like his playing, uh, and I like Brazilian music, mm -hmm. and although he doesn't do it as much today, Danny Green participated in a number of uh, Brazilian music camps okay. in San Diego, especially with the guitarist uh, Chico Pinheiro, and it uh, influenced very much his early compositions. Uh, so I like that one, and I like what he's doing today with string quartets. And the um, Norma Winstone piece, and excuse me, I'm going to have to uh, <clears throat> clear my throat again. Um, the Norma Winstone piece, I've always been haunted by that tune, and Danny Green has done a number of live streams. Mm -hmm. And there was one time I said to Danny, I uh, probably wrote to him in an email, you know, have you ever thought of doing the Peacocks? Because he can play in a very beautiful lyrical style. Okay. And uh, uh, I thought it would be a good tune for him. And <laughs> believe it or not, he took a look at the tune. And he said, yeah, I'm going to learn this by, cool. by my next live stream. And he played it. And I think proof that it is a very moving tune yeah. is that when he got done, he said on the live stream, Wow, that was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, there's, you've obviously met so many really amazing people. And, and Steve, I know that there's some folks, folks that would like to express their gratitude. Of course. And, you know, another pianist uh, that is very fond of, of uh, doc jazz is uh, Ron Kobayashi, a pianist out of Los Angeles, who has, uh, he's performed here in Yuma, I think, three, maybe four times with his trio. Just a great pianist and a great guy. And I think, Kerry, uh, you probably met him, uh, actually met him for the first time in a church somewhere in the, the L.A. area. But anyway, he's got, a, he's got a message he wants to share as well. Hi, this is Ron Kobayashi, and I wanted to congratulate Kerry Meister on 30 years on the air. That is absolutely incredible. Kerry is such an incredible resource for Arizona in terms of America's great art form, jazz, and should be appreciated by everyone, not only for his knowledge and enthusiasm for the art form, but just because he's an all-around great guy. Love you, Carrie. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, thanks to, <laughs> so much to Ron. And, and again, he's someone I've gotten to know on, on more, more, as more than just a musician. And uh, the story about that is that my wife was at a dietitian's conference in Anaheim. And on Sunday, you know, I was looking for something to do. She was going to meeting sessions, and I was active uh, in the United Church of Christ at the time. So I looked up the local church, yes. and I went to um, the, uh, the service, which was in a, a house that had been converted. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we had received at the station a recording from a guy named Ron Kobayashi some months before. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, at this church service, there was a guy playing, and they kept calling him Ron. <laughs> and I went up to him after the service, and I said, are you Ron Kobayashi? 
That's a great experience. I mean, when did you when did you first start connecting with artists? I mean, that, I, that was that something you did right away? Is that something that you grew more comfortable with? Well, I have to say, at first, I was somewhat in awe of of these musicians. Um, I had studied piano as, as a child. <clears throat> excuse me, and. Uh, uh, I did not have the discipline to, mm. to be a musician, uh, but I was always interested in music. You know, Carl Posh, who played in the Yuma Jazz Company, used to say to me, you know, you should have been a musicologist, <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I, I love not just listening to music, but talking about it and yeah. analyzing it, and but most mostly just enjoying it. And, uh, uh, you know, that's... Uh, so I, I kind of uh, got more comfortable talking to musicians, mm -hmm. and I really, again, have to credit Steve so much with helping me to get to know people, right. because when they would come to the Village Jazz Series, Steve would line up an interview, and uh, uh, I would be recording the show up in front where the musicians <laughs> were, and on the break we would talk with each other, and uh, Steve made it just so easy to get to know these musicians. Ah, that's pretty cool, and I know they enjoy it too. We've got, uh, we've got somebody else. Uh, I think the first person uh, that we brought from outside the Yuma area was bassist Rob Thorson, mm -hmm. and you've had kind of a relationship with him also over the years, and I think he's got uh, you know, kind of a message he would like to share as well. Hello, jazz friends. This is Rob Thorson, bassist and band leader from San Diego, California. I have known Mr. Kerry Meister, a.k.a. Dr. Jazz, for many years, and I just want to say thank you, Kerry, for everything you've done for the jazz community. It's people like you <coughs> that keep the music alive, <coughs> and we so appreciate you and all your contributions. Keep up the great work, Kerry. And Rob, again, is just a great person. My wife Nancy and I went to a concert in San Diego at a place called Dizzy's, and uh, um, we hadn't had any dinner. We drove over to San Diego, and I met Rob. I think I might even have done an interview. He was already there at the venue. Okay. And uh, we were going off to dinner, and he said, oh, I'll save a couple places for you for when you come back. <laughs> nice. And, yeah, another great guy. There's so many great people in music. Uh, there absolutely is, and, and I think uh, the, the feeling is mutual, because all of them that, that we contacted and said anything about you, they, they right away said, uh, I'm there, I'm doing it. I'm sending <laughs> you something. Awesome. It was very, very easy, because they love you. Well, I do. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> well, Carrie, I, um, I've noticed before that you can judge the quality of a person's character by the fierceness of the loyalty of their friends, and my gosh, you've got some fiercely loyal friends. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm fiercely loyal about them, yeah. you know, because one of the things I try to do is when we have people who come to the Village Jazz Series and, oh, I just hope so much, and I know everyone is, that we can have that again, uh, that... Uh, I try to follow their careers after they're here because mm -hmm. we've developed a relationship with these yeah. people and play their recordings and let people know what they're doing lately. Well, Carrie, I'm curious to hear who we're going to meet next. What, what do you have coming up for us? Um, coming up, we have a tune called The Hillbilly Bebopper. And to me, this one comes from Horace Silver. And it, it just kind of describes... The, the interesting atmosphere of Yuma. Uh, Steve Hennig has written on his website, you know, about how, uh, Steve, can you remember what you wrote about how we're something like a uh, 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 jazz in a sea of country uh, and western? I have, I have no idea other than, <laughs> uh, other than it's really awesome that, uh, that it's been able to thrive in an environment where it would be less likely. Like Dave mentioned when he was here, that really there's a, a jazz scene here, and it has thrived, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, cool. and and of course for a long time people in Yuma would look at us, you know, or people outside Yuma would look at us and say, oh yeah, a bunch of hicks, you know. It's, <laughs> it's a place where, you know, you get something to eat on the way to San Diego. <laughs> that's changing, but uh, I think in part to understand Yuma, you have to understand this song from Horace <laughs> Silver. Very cool. Thank you. 